Welcome to our second video lecture on immunosuppressant drugs. Today we'll focus on thiopurines. An example of thiopurine is azathioprine, which is a prodrug of 6 mercaptopurine. If we look at the structure of azothioprine, we can see that it resembles the purine nucleotide. When administering azothioprine to a patient, we administer it orally, and for some unknown reason, it takes months for the drug to take effect. Now we're going to dig in and look at the metabolism of azothioprine and 6 mercaptopurine. When administering azothioprine, it is converted into 6 mercaptopurine within the body, and this drug can be shunted down three different pathways. It can either go down the main pathway and get converted into 6 thioguanine nucleotides, which is an active metabolite that leads to immune suppression, therefore, this pathway here is the pathway of interest, or it can get shunted down this pathway right here through an enzyme called thiopurine methyltransferase and get converted into an inactive metabolite 6 methylmercaptopurine or it can get shunted through this enzyme here xanthine oxidase and get converted to an inactive metabolite 6 diuric acid or other oxidized metabolites now why am i telling you about these two enzymes here if they don't lead to immune suppression well the reason i'm telling you about these two enzymes is because First of all, when a patient comes into the hospital and they have gout, increased levels of uric acid, they will probably be on a medication called allopurinol. Allopurinol will inhibit xanthine oxidase and therefore shunt 6 mercaptopurine down this main pathway. Likewise, thiopurine methyltransferase is a primary example of pharmacogenetics. Some people will have decreased activity of this enzyme and therefore we will also get a shunting of 6 mercaptopurine down this main pathway of interest right here. By shunting 6 mercaptopurine down this main pathway, we will have increased levels of thioguanine nucleotides, and therefore we will have increased immune suppression and increased adverse drug reactions if the doctor doesn't take into account if a patient is on allopurinol or if they have decreased activities of thiopurine methyltransferase. An important thing to remember is that before administering this drug, a clinician will always measure TPMT levels to make sure that the patient doesn't have a genetic defect. Now, how does this drug work? Well, it leads to a depletion of purine nucleotides, which are important for cell survival, replication, and gene expression. This will result in apoptosis of activated lymphocytes. The uses of azothioprine are many. Initially, it was used as an anti-leukemia drug. However, now these days, there are much more potent and much more reliable drugs that are used instead. However, it is still used for rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, autoimmune hepatitis, and prevention of transplant rejection. Now we're going to look at some of the adverse effects of azothioprine. We have early adverse drug reactions which constitute opportunistic infections, which as I mentioned in the first lecture, is a common theme among all of these immunosuppressant drugs. And I'll repeat it, an opportunistic infection is an infection that is either abnormally severe or a normally healthy person wouldn't get it. We'll also get bone marrow suppression, which can lead to leukopenia. This makes sense as we are interfering with gene, uh, gene transcription and also cell replication and therefore because we are interfering with this the, the cells within the bone marrow since they are actively dividing and they're actively expressing genes all the time and very quickly we will lead to suppression of these cells and therefore can lead to decreased amounts of these cells within the blood we can get idiopathic pancreatitis and also and also allergies such as fever or skin rash some late adverse drug reactions are also opportunistic infections, idiopathic liver injury, and Epstein-Barr virus-associated lymphomas. Epstein-Barr virus is a cancer-causing virus which 95% of us have been exposed to.